What time is it? You know what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button. You know just where it's at. Right down there. Right down there. And it's time to follow my Instagram. That's Geekly Amanda. G-E-E-K-L-Y Amanda. It's the same on Twitter. Make sure to follow me there too. And it's time to get this movie review started. So Army of the Thieves, which is the prequel to Army of the Dead, which came out a couple months ago on Netflix, is a fun little heist movie that is also written by Zack Snyder, the brilliant mind of Zack Snyder. And, you know, it comes out on Netflix on the streaming service this Friday, October 29th. Let's talk about what the movie's about. So in this prequel to Army of the Dead, a mysterious woman recruits bank teller Dieter to assist in a heist of impossible to crack safes across Europe. So Army of the Thieves actually takes place six years before its predecessor, Army of the Dead, and it centers around the safe-cracking bank teller, Ludwig Dieter, who is played by Matthias Swagger, and he also directs the film. I am always in awe of these actors who could star, play the leading role in the film, and also direct it. I mean, that takes a special kind of talent. And I'm gonna tell you, he has it. Not only does he nail this part as Dieter, who is called Sebastian in the film, and you'll find out more about that, but he also just brings a great heist caper feel to this film. One would think that Mateus was a fan of safe cracking before even making this film. You know, with the continuous shots of the inner workings of the safe in the film, it's an added little gem and really gives the movie, you know, the heist excitement. Not only that, he really nails it as the character Dieter. He does. He brings the awkwardness of him, but and and you can really tell that and he, when he was, you know, filming little YouTube videos, which I had to had to laugh at because he was like, and then go mash the the subscribe button. <laughs> like it was it was these hilarious little moments that really gave a authentic feel to his awkwardness. Is I can't give all the accolades to Maceias playing Dieter because the rest of the cast was also just phenomenal, especially his co-star, Natalie Emmanuel, who plays, you know, Dieter's little crush in this Gwen. Emmanuel does like a great job just really demanding the screen alongside her co-star, who, you know, really is the big character in this and really is the standout character in this, but she holds her own, Emmanuel does. And I'm gonna tell you, they had great chemistry together. They did, so much so, I was surprised that the film didn't, you know, really utilize their chemistry and make it more of a romance, which, I mean, the film doesn't have a romantic theme, so it's, it's, it's not needed, but I just felt like it was a missed opportunity. Now, I have a feeling that this movie might disappoint some, especially the Army of the Dead fans who are coming to this movie because it's the prequel to it, and w wanna see some zombie action because in this one, you're not gonna get the zombies much. They'll give little glimpses. This has happened six years before, remember, of Army of the Dead. So the zombie apocalypse is just starting to happen around different parts of the world. They see some news footage, but you don't get any of that zombie fighting that you got in the Army of the Dead. However, you get a little bit more in this one, a little something different. It could be a little slow pace at times, but the action is, you know, it has that Ocean's Eleven feel. I even compared it to the series Lupin on Netflix. It's the cat and mouse chase that gives it the excitement and, and you know, the, the intense moments and, and heart pumping moments where they're trying to, you know, crack a safe and, and here comes guys on their tails. I mean, that's really how this film feels. Totally different from Army of the Dead. But, all, but still, on its own, it's an enjoyable film. Now let's talk about what parents need to know before letting their kids watch this one. So first, language. Language, you're gonna have some harsh language in this and profanity used throughout. You get the F word, the S word, the A-hole word. You even gonna get some D words, male genitalia, and the P word, female genitalia. So they are not holding back as far as profanity in this movie. Other than the language, the other mature content to look out for is, of course, you know, the theft in it. I mean, this is literally called the Army of Thieves, so they're gonna show lots of 
car thefts and safe cracking thefts, but also, you know, some flashbacks of when these characters were younger and, you know, as an adolescent, they were, th you know, stealing and, and performing robbery. They're gonna have violence. It's gonna have violence. They're gonna have hand-to-hand -hand combat, shooting guns. You know, some people die from their gunshot wounds. Yeah, robbing the banks, like I said, but also shootouts. So those are the other big look lookouts that parents need to know for the Army of the Feet. I enjoyed it. It was a fun little caper flick, and it was totally different from Army of the Dead, but still enjoyable. This is gonna be one you won't wanna miss. It is Army of Thieves. It's coming on Netflix this Friday, October 29th. And if you already saw it and watching this after it came out, let me know what you think, or if you're excited for it, comments, thumbs, and all that. Until next time, y'all.